Have you ever pondered why boundaries are crucial in relationships? Well, our clients ask about boundaries quite often, and this is what our team teaches. Boundaries, like invisible fences, create a safe space for growth and mutual respect. They are vital in every relationship, not just the romantic ones, but also the ones with family, friends, and even colleagues. Boundaries are like a personal rule book that defines what we are comfortable with and what we are not. They help us maintain our individuality, encouraging us to stand our ground and respect others' boundaries as well. This mutual understanding fosters a healthy environment where everyone feels valued and heard. Moreover, setting boundaries can be a preventive measure against conflicts escalating. When we clearly communicate our boundaries, we are essentially sharing our expectations. This transparency helps in minimizing misunderstandings and managing potential disputes. Boundaries are not just walls that separate us, they are guidelines that help us navigate our connections with others. Now that we understand the importance of boundaries, let's delve into the process of setting them. Start the boundary setting process with self-reflection. It's essential to understand that the journey towards setting healthy boundaries begins with you inside of you. You are the compass, the map, and the destination. It's about identifying your personal needs, your comfort levels, and your non-negotiables. Imagine you're a castle. What are the walls that protect you, that give you peace, and that make you feel secure? These walls, they are your boundaries. They shield you from the storms outside and keep your castle yourself intact. But here's the trick. You need to know your castle well. You need to explore it, understand it, and know what it needs to remain sturdy and safe. This is where self-reflection comes in. It's like taking a tour of your castle, going through each room, each corner, understanding what's necessary and what's not. It's about recognizing your feelings, your reactions, your triggers and your desires. It's about understanding what makes you feel respected, loved and valued. There are no right or wrong answers here. It's about what feels right to you. So take your time. Reflect on your past experiences, your current situations, and your future expectations. Jot down your thoughts if it helps. Remember, this isn't a one-time process. As you grow, as you evolve, your boundaries might shift, and that's perfectly okay. It's a journey of constant self-awareness and self-understanding. Having recognized your personal boundaries, it's time to communicate them. Communication is the key to expressing your boundaries effectively. So let's walk through the process of how to do this. If you find yourself in a situation where you need to establish a boundary, start with a clear, concise statement. This isn't the time for ambiguity or beating around the bush. Be direct but also be respectful. Remember your aim isn't to offend or hurt but to protect your personal space and well-being. Firstly, identify what the boundary is. Is it about time, personal space, or something else? Once you've identified it, find the right words to express it. You might say something like, I need to have some alone time every day to decompress. Secondly, explain why this boundary is important to you. It's not enough to just state what you need. You also need to provide some context. This could be, this alone time helps me to recharge and be a better partner. Next, listen to your partner's response. They might have questions, or they might feel hurt or confused. This is normal. Remember that boundaries aren't about shutting people out, but about creating a healthy balance. If you face pushback, stay firm but kind. It's okay for your partner to feel uncomfortable, but it's not okay for them to ignore or dismiss your needs. You might say, I understand that this might be difficult for you, but it's something I need for my well-being. Lastly, be open to negotiation. Your boundaries aren't set in stone, and your partner's needs are just as important as yours. Find a middle ground that respects both of your boundaries. Remember, boundaries are a two-way street. Just as you have the right to set your own, your partner has the right to set theirs. It's about finding a balance that ensures both of you feel respected, valued, and loved. Congratulations, you've communicated your boundaries, but what happens when they're crossed? That's what we'll explore in our next segment. Stay tuned. Enforcing boundaries is as important as setting them. Now that you've reflected on your needs and communicated your boundaries, the next crucial step is to enforce them. Enforcing boundaries isn't about being confrontational or aggressive. Instead, it's about standing firm in your convictions and ensuring that your needs and values are respected. When your boundaries are crossed, it's essential to address the situation promptly. Ignoring a boundary violation can send the wrong message that such behavior is acceptable. So how do you enforce your boundaries effectively? Let's break it down. First, 
Be clear and assertive. Articulate what boundary was crossed and why it's important to you. This isn't about blaming or attacking the other person but about expressing your feelings and needs. For instance, you might say, when you interrupt me while I'm speaking I feel disrespected. I need to be heard and understood in our conversations. Second, use I statements instead of you statements. You statements can come off as accusatory and may put the other person on the defensive. I statements, on the other hand, focus on your feelings and perceptions. Third, be firm and consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to enforcing boundaries. If you let a boundary violation slide once, it can become a pattern. Stand your ground, even if it feels uncomfortable. Fourth, be prepared for pushback. Not everyone will respond positively when you start enforcing your boundaries. Some may try to guilt you or accuse you of being selfish. Remember, it's not selfish to prioritize your well-being. Finally, be patient with yourself and others. Setting and enforcing boundaries is a process. It takes time for others to adjust to your boundaries, and it takes time for you to become comfortable enforcing them. Enforcing boundaries is a vital part of maintaining healthy relationships. It allows you to protect your emotional space, prevent resentment, and nurture mutual respect. So don't shy away from standing up for yourself and what matters to you the most. Remember, the key to successful boundary enforcement is consistency. Boundaries are not just lines in the sand, they're preventative measures against escalating conflicts. Take a moment to think about that. Boundaries, when set and respected, work like a buffer zone, absorbing the initial shock of any potential conflict. They help to maintain a safe and respectful space between individuals, ensuring that each person's rights, needs, and personal space are respected. Consider a situation where a couple has a disagreement. Without boundaries, this disagreement can easily escalate into a full-blown argument, with both parties saying things they might later regret. But with boundaries in place, each person knows when to pause, step back, and cool down. They understand that continuing to argue would cross a line, infringing upon the other person's boundary. Boundaries also help to prevent conflicts by promoting mutual respect and understanding. When we set boundaries, we communicate our needs and expectations clearly. This clarity reduces the chances of misunderstandings, one of the primary causes of conflicts. By respecting each other's boundaries, we show that we value the other person's well-being and individuality. In addition, boundaries foster healthier, more harmonious relationships. They allow each person to maintain their individuality while being part of a relationship. They prevent feelings of resentment that can build up over time when one's needs are constantly overlooked or dismissed. Respecting boundaries means respecting the other person's right to self-care and self-expression. It means acknowledging that while we are in a relationship, we are still separate individuals with our own needs and desires. Finally, boundaries can help to de-escalate conflicts when they do arise. They provide a framework for resolving disputes in a respectful and constructive manner. They remind us that even in the heat of an argument, we need to respect the other person's feelings and perspectives. So, you see, boundaries are not barriers, they're the bridges that connect us. They allow us to navigate the complex terrain of relationships, guiding us towards mutual understanding and respect. They help us to prevent conflicts from escalating, fostering a healthier and more harmonious coexistence. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned about setting boundaries. Boundaries, as we've discussed, are guidelines we set for ourselves and others in relationships. They're crucial for maintaining respect, understanding and harmony between partners. Without them, conflicts can easily escalate, leading to strained relationships. We began our journey by emphasizing the importance of self-reflection. It's essential to identify your needs, desires, and limits. This introspection forms the bedrock of effective boundary setting. Next, we delved into the art of communicating your boundaries. It's not just about expressing your limits, but doing so in a clear, respectful, and assertive manner. Remember, your boundaries are valid, and you have every right to express them. Then, we explored the step of enforcing boundaries. It's one thing to set boundaries but quite another to uphold them. This requires consistency, resilience, and an understanding that it's okay to say no. Lastly, we examined the role of boundaries in preventing escalating conflicts. By defining what's acceptable and what's not, boundaries serve as a buffer against misunderstandings and disagreements. They help maintain a healthy balance in the relationship, fostering mutual respect and understanding. Remember, setting healthy boundaries is a continuous journey, not a destination. It's about constant learning, growth, and adaptation. 
It's not always easy, but the rewards are profound and lasting. So thank you for joining us on this journey today. Here's to healthier, happier, and more harmonious relationships.